Hello, my name is Todd Berner with the Bross Company. This presentation is going to go over a product from Iconic Software that's called Bridgeworks. Bridgeworks is a product that can be installed on XP Professional, XP Professional 64-bit, 2003 Server, 2003 Server 64-bit, Vista, 2008 Server, and it can also run in a virtual machine environment, a VMware application. It's a powerful product and it's used to move data, files, I'll open up a transaction in a moment and just show you all the different types of moves that you can make. But it runs as a service in the background and you can see here I have a Iconics Graphworks application opened up here and this is a uh, graphical interface product from Iconics that can be web delivered. It's a very nice easy to use product but uh, you're not limited to Graphworks. You can certainly uh, utilize this in conjunction with uh, Factory View from, from Rockwell or in conjunction with Wonderware, uh, GE Software, um, any standalone HMIs like a Cutler Hammer Panel Mate or a, uh, a Maple Systems HMI or an Omeron Operator Interface in conjunction with a PLC. Uh, it's a powerful product that will enable you to connect information throughout your enterprise. Right now I have a transaction open. And this transaction is running a new transaction diagram which you can see is right here. Now I'm going to pop into advanced mode and just show you that I'm triggering this transaction to happen based on an OPC variable. That OPC variable would represent a bit in a PLC, perhaps. And uh, I am going to be triggering that OPC variable from Graphworks. You can see I have this BROSS banner with our phone number, 1-800-AUTOMATE. Uh, and I have made this a push button. You can see the mouse over says uh, that data tag will be triggered when I push it. I'm not going to push it yet, but uh, that will be our trigger. Now I am going to... Uh, here you can see the types of data connections we can make. OPC connectors, database connectors, which would be any database that's um, ODBC compliant. Um, so if you had a Pi server or a um, iHistorian or a Wonderware and SQL database or standard industry databases such as SQL or Oracle, uh, those can all be connected to from this product. SAP connections are available as well. So it's a powerful tool. And the OPC connectors essentially represent any PLC or automation product in your factory floor. We have an OPC server we provide that has uh, over 100 different PLC protocol, uh, protocols supported, so um, you, you have very open connectivity. If you'd like to learn more about OPC, we will be having an OPC uh, demo uh, on our website very soon. And you can create global variables that work throughout all Iconics applications and local variables that work in a, you know, an individual Iconics application. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up our uh, new transaction diagram that I created. You can see it's like a flowchart. Well, it is a flowchart. And you can see that here I am going to make move OPC data, which I will be entering through these fields. I'm going to enter values into these fields and, and uh, when I trigger the transaction it's going to move OPC data into uh, the database and I have that mapped into the demo database. Here are the tag 1, tag 2, tag 3, tag 4 that are represented on that interface and here are the database columns those are going to go into. So I'm going to insert records into this database. And then I also threw in a file move so you can see the file move function. Uh, I will be transferring a file from this directory, folder 1, on the desktop. It's called demo.doc. And I'm going to move it into folder 2 called Bross Demo um, and rename the file to Bross Demo. I'll quickly uh, um, show you that here is that document in folder 1. This is a demo. And we will be moving it into folder 2, where you can see there's nothing there right now. 
but this could be from one PC to another PC anywhere in your network. It's very powerful. So that's already been created. Bring back open Bridgeworks here. And I'm just going to show you the OPC triggers. All right, here's the OPC trigger that will trigger this. And here are the, the tags. So those connections have already been made. And you can see that we're, we're running right now. So now I am going to uh, quickly open up my SQL database so that you can see what's in there. Just create a quick little database here. I'm going to connect to this. This is the SQL Server Management Studio, if you're familiar with it. You can see here's a table I created called Demos. I'll just open that table. See right now there's just one record in there and I manually put these into those columns. Close out of that real quick. And now I'm going to enter some values here. I'm just 25, say 12, 23, And I just created variable characters in that SQL database so that uh, um, I could just quickly create some, some uh, columns. Now I'm just going to uh, toggle this button. Now I just turn that trigger from 0 to 1. Now I'll turn it back off again. Since Bridgeworks is running, you can see already that this file is moved. It's renamed Bross Demo. And when I open that up with Microsoft Word, this is a demo. So you can see that worked. So right away we know our transaction went through. And now we'll just quickly open up our SQL database again. And you can see we inserted the record. Pretty quick and easy to do. Um, I will have uh, some more uh, demos on Bridgeworks that actually show how easy it is to create the connections to your database and to the OPC uh, variables. It's very easy to do. And uh, you can use this in many powerful ways in, in your organization. So if you're having trouble uh, organizing your data, moving your data from one application to another, moving files. This is a powerful product and you do not have to be a SQL expert in order to use it. Um, you don't even need to be a database expert. Uh, so it's an easy way to enable your organization uh, to get the data that you need where you want it, when you want it. I want to thank you for uh, joining us for this demo and please remember to contact the Bross company at 1-800-AUTOMATE for any applications you might have regarding automation and enterprise data solutions. And here is my uh, email address at the Bross company and feel free to email me with any questions as well. Thanks again for joining us.